Hey, down here. Okay. Um, back with another live stream. And um, I'm going to um, get back on the AS Rock and uh, see what might have happened with the. Uh, let me check my audio over here. I want to see what might have happened uh, yesterday, last night, whenever I was working on the uh, on remote desktop. It um, suddenly I was in Crusader, going to copy some files. I plugged in my backup drive, my big USB backup drive, and uh, I was going to copy some files over. And all of a sudden, the uh, keyboard quit. Well, it responded, but not normally. You know, it would it would work in one window and not in the other. When you click on things with the mouse, it would, instead of normally, it just highlights one. You click on one line, and then well, let's get over here in Crusader, and I'll show you how it normally acts instead of trying to explain it in reverse. Okay, so if I click on that file, then it, you know it selects it. If I click on that one, it selects it. Well, it was clicking on, and if you want to select more than one, then you can hold down Control and say click that one, and you hold down Control, you can click them spread apart like that. If you want to have them all, then you hold down Shift. Well, it wasn't responding normally at all. Okay, and then if I want to search, start typing. There I go to Fire. See, I went to Firefox. Of course, there's just a lot of files. It's really that's a lot of help. And then you hit Enter to go in and and, and the in the arrow keys to go in and out of um, directories. So it quit doing all that. And um, so either I accidentally and I was doing remote desktop and I could have accidentally hit some sort of shortcut key when I was typing is what I'm thinking. That's what I was thinking then, and that's why I'm still hoping, because otherwise it could be malware. It could have been one that there was some malware hiding on that my backup drive that, that actually infected that system when I plugged it in. I mean, it it hasn't happened this whole time, this whole scare with the malware. It's only been, um, you know, I've only found it in the browser cache from the that the websites, you know, the bad websites from at on browser.com um, opened up you know without my consent <laughs> so I'm gonna let's see I want to get on this camera and I'm gonna go ahead and switch over let's see I'm just gonna ahead and use the uh, wireless, wireless mic for, mic a for a minute okay I didn't want to keep talking and have both mics having that bad echo okay there we go. Now, I can move my, this mic so that I can uh, move around a bit. And I, I, wanna, I didn't want to boot up the machine ahead of time because I wanted to show everything that happened. I mean, it might be important. So um, let me switch. I've got to get my long stick so I can boot up the, I can remotely boot the AS Rock with my long stick <laughs> there. And... Uh, I'll use my pencil for the local KVM switching here. Uh, okay, now I'll we'll boot up the AS Rock. I just wanted to just, I just first I was going to work on it, you know, not on the video, and then I thought, no, nah, I think I'll do it that way. So um, I'll have to stay on this mic now unless I want to switch off. I can't switch off of the AS Rock. Probably should have just stayed on my other mic. But anyway, I did it. So here we go. Um, well, my preview looks like my, oh, well, it's okay. My, I thought, I noticed that it was a little low on the top there, close to the top of the monitor, and I thought, well, I kind of like the way that looks better, and because there's a light on my, my router that shows up, and it always distracts my eyes. I mean, it's blurry and everything as it is. It's the best I can get, so I'm going to hit, uh, hit an arrow key, and we'll see, I'll be able to see the, uh, not that I'm really watching for any anything necessarily, but I can see the uh, command line stuff as it comes up, what's starting, and if there were any errors and stuff. Um, of course, I missed the first part of it, but uh, well, what, usually what will happen if there is any kind of errors and anything's not working quite right, it'll hang right there until it try. It'll try it, I don't know how many times, one to three times, I guess, before it gives up. But I don't think there was any errors or anything. So I'll just log in with my, my username, like I was done, had done before. And then uh, I'll open up the remote desktop app, the KRFB. That's exactly how I was using it yesterday. And 
Well, I guess I'll, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll do that because, you know, it could have been that things were actually extremely delayed in response in the remote desktop because I'd been running it quite a while. Uh, that's another thing that can happen. You think something is not working right when it actually is on the machine, uh, but it's showing up wrong on in, you know in your remote desktop connection because it's the, what, the, this, the refresh of the screen is delayed. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it that way because if I, I started to, I, I started to open up Crusader, um, thought I had that all set up there. Thought I had six updates today. Well, there's updates every day here on on this Fedora 27. I've been installing them even though I'm getting ready to reformat it, but I'm not going to do that right now. So KRFB, I think I was doing it in my screen name. Yeah, that was the last name I was in. Where is KRFB? It's in the tools. I'm going to put it up there. I'm going to say, do I, is it there and I don't see it? But no, it's not there. I thought I had put the launcher up there. We'll just put it up there. And um, all right, now I'm going to go ahead and launch KRFB. The and this is the control interface for. Uh, oh, okay. It looks like it's still got the password from yesterday. So uh, if it does, then I won't have to. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to do it anyway because half the time it's not. Usually it doesn't, the, the, the checkbox is unchecked. And the reason is because I never did bother to set up the KDE uh, key ring. I'll just change it anyway. Um, okay, now. You can just minimize it and leave it. It still does that. Oh, there's the KDE wallet system. See, I never have done that. Let it cancel. There is something wrong on this thing, though. Here, I, I'm on it. I'm not on remote desktop. And when I minimize an app, it goes away. It doesn't show up in the bottom. wonder if... Uh, properties. Expand, auto hide's not on, show hide buttons. Oh, that's the, yeah, to make the panel, you can make the panel go away if you use that. Background, I don't see anything wrong in it at all. Expand, I like it to expand. Yeah, so this, yeah, this is a mate, so I usually end up having to just work and work trying to set up, uh, Let's see if it has add to panel. Let's see if I can see what's in there. I bet the I'm wondering if the uh, thing that shows it. Let's see. App. Run an application. Application launcher. Application launcher. Show desktop, window list, switch between open windows using buttons. Window selector, switch between windows using menu. Okay, I think that is gone some, for some reason. Okay, I said hit add, but I don't see it still. There we go. Yeah. Okay, close. Now it's there where it belongs. There's a little divider in there. I'm going to move that over. Oh. Oh. Well, I want that to the left, so that makes that stay on the... If I move that divider, it makes that stay. I'm going to lock that to the panel. There we go. It was gone. I don't know. that. You know, things like that do happen once in a while. They have over the years, so... Uh, it's Especially... I, I use desktop short, uh, keyboard shortcuts a lot. And sometimes I hit... You know, there's keyboard shortcuts for a lot of things in a system, so sometimes I hit the wrong one at the wrong time. I'm thinking, hoping that's what it is, because otherwise, 
malware is just jacking with my system, you know. Uh, in Windows, the way that was acting yesterday, Windows, that would be a good indication that was malware. But in Linux, uh, it hasn't been so far. But that doesn't mean that, that you know, with this, all this been going on, it, it I paid more attention to all that kind of thing now. Okay, I want the viewer now. Connect. There we go. <clears throat> now then, F8. I'm remember, starting to remember some of this. Let's look through the preferences in here right quick before I actually go to the full screen. Let's see. Uh, when I was looking in the uh, options, well, let's don't. We'll look at that later. I want to go straight to Crusader. That's the whole point here. Let's open Crusader and see if it works normally. I wanted you to be able to see it. Okay, now, this is on the other machine. Oh, I was going to say, why are there OBS videos in there? Well, because I made a bunch yesterday. Okay, so, um, and then here's the uh, folder I was trying to copy. Now it's working fine. Okay, up and down, arrows, in and out of the directory. Uh, something was, I don't know, maybe the machine, um, I noticed it seemed a little laggy. There could be an app, um, of course, that's another indication you could have malware, but <laughs> but um, sometimes things happen on the app gets unruly, and it's uh, maybe it's it's got a, it's using up. I don't remember noticing. I I try to keep a watch on that, you know. But, oh, that's a, oh there it is. It moved. Sometimes right after you install some of this stuff, it will move on you, and then it'll generally stay. Some of these when you put them up in the, right after you put them in the t toolbar, the uh, panel. Okay, so it's, yeah, uh, let's see. I want to make sure I have it. Yeah, usually if you go, I've known, I used to always go by the highest CPU usage and organize it that way. And especially back when Flash was the big thing, for that was the one that I was always using, it ended up using 100% of your CPU on websites, uh, but now that that's hardly not, uh, well, I don't even install Flash anymore, so it's not, not a big problem, you know. Not the Flash player, anyway. Um, but the memory, sometimes some uh, applications will just start using up all the memory. Now, on here with 8 gig of RAM, I know that didn't happen because I'm pretty sure I looked during all that. But uh, anyway, there's other, you know, other things that can uh, kind of jack up a system besides memory and CPU usage too, something or could be a bug in an app. Well, there's uh, with all these updates, there can always be a bug in these new updates. So, um, so I just went ahead and, and I didn't think this, couldn't see that this was working. I was trying to copy these, my folder down playing guitar and it has lots and lots of waves and then it has other folders with more waves and different variations and stuff and some of them are edited and so I didn't know, uh, well, since I was having trouble with it, I just decided to just copy the whole thing. And it actually did do it successfully. And so when you open OBS Studio, it works uh, <clears throat> just fine. And um, let's see, what was the last video I made? I have not been able to find my, um, I don't think you'll get sound. If there, Well, there may not be sound in all of it. I was using the... Um, wireless mic, just turning it on the wireless mic in OBS Studio. This is only 36 seconds long here, looks like. Oh, I guess it's not organized in, uh, oh, there's a little sound right there. Oh, I was just trying everything out. Okay, so, um, Oh, and when I clicked on that, it opened a double when I, oh, hmm. That was the other thing yesterday. I double clicked on it and it opened in a uh, VLC media player like it should. I couldn't go, and I couldn't go, it wasn't doing it. It was opening in some app that couldn't even, it was an audio app, not a video app. And, and But I don't know what's going on. I think maybe it's a change in the Fedora 20. I keep on saying 28 because that's what I'm going to put on there, but this is Fedora 27. Uh, you can't just click on that and change the, uh, maybe it's because I'm in Dawn and Theta is the actual main user, the 
the thing is, is when you, the first user you install, install gets the most privileges and the next one doesn't. So maybe that's the reason. I bet it is. Okay, anyway, it's, it, that's even working. I just clicked on it like, normal, like I always do because I always set up my systems that way and it worked. So some things were acting weird yesterday. Yeah, it's, I don't know, that's the newest one. So let's see about the one right before it. I just don't remember what I put in them. I also can't get it to go full screen. And let, oh, there it is. I just couldn't see the, everything's changed and moved around. And look, the, the icons look different. So I'm talking there and I've got audio. Okay, that's just me. All right, now, I was thinking I set it on, I think, oh, it, the last time when I tried to set it on remote desktop, it didn't uh, work because I didn't have the settings right. Now I should be able to do a backup stream. I think I'll tr just, should I do that again? Now let's do some research first before I try it again. I want to find out <clears throat> where do I look for the backup streams, you know? And I did do updates yesterday. It's always, you know what? It had kernel updates. It could be that normally you don't, well, with kernel updates, you usually do really need to reboot to, yeah, you're not going to be running your new kernel until you reboot. Uh, and it did, I remember it had kernel updates because I looked to see what they were going to be. Let's look again here <coughs> and see what we got today. <laughs> it's always good to get updates. There'll be security updates. And, Kernel updates always have security updates in them. Never seen network security services. <coughs> I just remembered. I don't even know which mic I'm on. Let's go ahead. I think I'm still on the. I moved the mic away, but I don't think it did me any good because I think I for, I pulled it out here to talk on it, but it forgot to change. Let's see, play the sound over there. That'll tell me for one thing right quick. Yeah, it sounds to me like that's the wireless. Sometimes it sounds pretty good and it's hard to tell. Uh, it's a lot of stuff. Uh, Net Network Security Services, I think that's an application, not, I don't know. Uh, for Anyway, I'm going to check all, apply, and I'll have to, uh, it's only 2.1, Megabytes, yeah. Let that be working, and let's see. We'll go get out of this uh, full screen here. Yep, I'm still on the wireless, so uh, let's get off the wireless. There's both, There's of, both them. of them, and there is the SM58. <clears throat> now let's check our sound again. Make sure I've got what I want to have. Okay, now, with me switching a lot, that, I think I can pause that preview now. Actually, no, I didn't want to do that. I'll let it play a little longer because I want to make sure what... Okay, that was already done. That was so small of an update. I looked through the settings in remote desktop there and... Uh, in the Tiger VNC remote desktop viewer, and I decided to leave them on default. I like um, the uh, most of the other apps. There's just some you know shortcut key that just takes you in and out of remote desktop instead of just just bringing up the mirror me me menu. But in this case, uh, I don't know. There, I didn't see anything that could do that. Uh, so I, I just you know, and I don't. And if you change the, if you start changing around this, the, uh, the keyboard shortcuts, what you know, I use this this uh, Tiger VNC viewer and KRFB and all of, all of my machines now. And so if I change it in one, I'll always forget to change it in the other. I've done it before, and I get all hung up. And it makes it a big problem. So it's better to learn the defaults from my, the way my brain don't work right. <laughs> I mean, everybody has that kind of trouble. Okay, so uh, what I'm thinking is, okay, now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and close remote desktop since you really have a limited time of how long you can use it before it just uh, quits working right. And I think I think what it is is the router can only handle so much, especially with me 
streaming two cameras and one audio on, on one phone. You know, one phone streaming audio and the other one. And it's always streaming whether I'm using it or not. So that is the coolest machine. That's a, uh, it's not a three-wheeler. <clears throat> That's from the early 1900s. Late, yeah, early 1900s. That is a uh, motorcycle. Yep, motorcycle. And it has, um, okay, you think the Segways are cool? Well, this is, a, this is before Segway was ever even thought of. Um, you could carry like six people in this thing. There's other pictures. These are my, you know, I have they automatically change my desktop backgrounds. And there's another view of it where you can really see what it is. Those are basically kickstands. There's one on either side for when it's not running. But when it's running, gyros, it has gyros on it uh, that are mechanical, not electronic. And once, you know, when it's running, it balances itself. <coughs> and it has a car steering wheel. <coughs> That's a radiator there. That's a four or six cylinder motor there. It's just the coolest thing ever. I never knew something like that uh, existed, but this is a, I think this one's in a museum or something. Anyway, I ran across it one time. I love old cars and motorcycles, and I just like all kinds of old stuff because <clears throat> I'm old. <laughs> I've loved it since I was a kid. I loved antique cars ever since I was a kid. I had one in my backyard when I was little, and um, my dad passed away when I was four, and it was his, his project, and uh, so it was still in the backyard for several years, and I dreamed, I played in it, and I dreamed of, you know, when I got big fixing it up, but bef not long after that, uh, my mom thought, you know, she, <laughs> some of my, my silly relatives, oh, it's dangerous, he's going to get hurt in it, it's just an old car, <laughs> it was a Chevy too, and it had, uh, Chevy's had, uh, it was about, what was it? I don't think it was a 20. Yeah, it might have been like a 1924. You had to crank it to start it. I can't remember what year it was now. Probably never really knew. I was so little. But um, I, I, I got to I, I, I got to see it running. Is my, what I'm getting around to. Uh, my my mom sold it to my cousin, my my dad's cousin, my second cousin. Oh, and there's a first. You think choppers are a 60s thing? No, that's 1901. Acme Choppers in England. <laughs> How about that? So anyway, uh, my cousin bought it, got it running, and he lived in Wichita Falls, and I live in I lived in Fort Worth, uh, in the suburb of Fort Worth, Texas, back in when I was little. And uh, he drove it down from Wichita Falls and took me a ride in it one day. So I didn't get to ride in it, but that's what started my love for old machines. I'm sure. So. Uh, I've had a few, but never anything that old. They were way too expensive by the time I grew up. <clears throat> well, actually, when I was a teenager, when I was 18, I had a chance to get a... Well, I wanted a 32 sedan delivery. And I had a chance to get one, but I did pass it up uh, for 50 bucks. It was in a, I didn't actually get to go see it. I, was call, I, was, I don't remember how come I... I think I was calling for parts from my 64 Chevy, and then I just happened to mention to the guy that I liked old vehicles. And he says, well, I've got a... I think if we just <clears throat> start jawing a little bit, <clears throat> he said, well, i got a panel truck back here, and I'll sell it to you for 50 bucks if you want it, you know. I wished many times I'd have went and got it. But anyway, you know how that goes. <clears throat> um, screencast. Okay, so what I want to know is here, <clears throat> I love that chopper. I want to build one. I don't build stuff at all anymore. This is how I build things with software and a computer now. I mean, I do when I, I build a few things here and there when I can, but I don't get too much. But anyway, uh, I want to get rid of the extra toolbar. I don't. I only use it when I need to to get to those those particular. You know, when I need it. Otherwise, I don't like it looking at it. All right. Um, let's see. Wow, YouTube. Backup stream. Okay, let's just do that. Now, where? Now, how to set one? I want to know. I already know how to do that. I can do it with the OBS Studio, and, and it shows to be working. But where is it? Can you? I thought you could watch them. How to use the backup stream? I'm not gonna watch other people's videos in my, uh, you know, in my video because uh, I. You wonderful YouTube as they are, they'll probably do something, you know, block my video from being played or something. Give it a copyright strike. How to set up a backup stream. 
there are lots, and I found this yesterday. Uh, but uh, enable your channel. Yes, my channel. They they do. They are thorough. That makes sure you know you got every channel. Okay, once your channel is able, stream now. You can do it from mobile, webcam. That's actually nothing to do with backup stream, is it? Oh, here it is. Events. Okay, I just not. I don't. I don't search through text with my own eyes very well. That's why I use the searcher. I try to skim. I, I skim when I read her. I can't because I can't. You know, it takes way too long to read every little word, even if I wasn't making a video. Well, on this I might, but making a video. I'm trying to be fast, and that usually makes me uh, less efficient. Okay, so maybe there's something there. I didn't understand what, and when I'm talking, I can't talk and read at the same time. I try not to do a lot of research when I'm doing one of these videos. When I'm talking, you know, you got to be talking when you're making a video to tell what's going on. Don't you just hate those desktop videos when people don't say a word and you don't know what the heck they're doing? Only thing worse than that is the ones that last two or three hours, <coughs> like mine. So I don't know. Ah, okay. But that's my oh events. Okay, yeah, I don't usually go to that part. Okay, events. Right, live now. Upcoming completed. Right. Oh, okay. I don't have. I shouldn't. Well, I think that's. Yeah, that stays in there all the time because I have it. Oh, that app. I don't use it anymore. I think I might have took it off the phone. I installed this app once you could do live streams because you couldn't do it through the YouTube app back then, back in January 30th, 2017. This app would do a live stream. <coughs> and, um, and it worked. I tried it out, but you couldn't do very high resolution. Okay, now, <coughs> completed. That should give me a list of a bunch of them. Or maybe they'll be... Yeah, see now I've already renamed them, so they always they have their new names. But no, there's nothing. Doesn't look to me like there's like there should be a couple of three right in here alongside these. Let's go look for the word backup. Make sure. Well, yeah, because I was lucky backup. Yeah, but there's no backup stream. <clears throat> That's back up where I started there. Okay, so no backup stream. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to bookmark all tabs so I can close some of these. Okay. <clears throat> That did not find it for me. It did not help me. I'll leave this page open because it could end up being, you know, it's, I mean, if I figure out where to go, I've already looked and looked and I couldn't find it. I've tried searching. All that does right there is search YouTube videos. I searched my own channel. That didn't help. I just found my videos with the word backup in them. There's help and feedback. I'll do that. I mean, although. Let's put view backup stream. How to set up a backup stream. Stream now backup stream. What's that? Oh, that's stream now is some other kind of app. How to set up a backup stream. <clears throat> It's kind of what I just read, isn't it? Two encoders are right, and it's one backup. Primary and one is backup. Wirecast, that was the one I tried first. This may be really old. Yep, 6314. I don't think they even recommend Wirecast anymore in YouTube. But let's kind of skim through it and see if there's any. Okay, about to use a backup server. This would probably all be wrong now anyway, these instructions here. So 
So let's see. <clears throat> Yeah, well, I mean, that's we well and good, except for uh, how do you? Okay, well, that's not. It's the same stuff over and over. I'm gonna close that page now. How do you use the backup stream? How to uh, restore games from your stream library? Totally love backup stream. Okay. Live shell manual. Archive streams. That's what I was wondering about. Let's see what this is. Sometimes some page where they're, you know, where they're just trying to help you do stuff will actually end up helping you quicker than the, uh, the, the Google or YouTube stuff <coughs> because. I think it's mostly. Oh, well, okay. I don't know. It might be. A, it looks like it might be some good instructions, but it, I just want to know how to view it. Okay. Again. Okay. I saw something about archive, and I just thought that was just your normal. Oops. That is not where I want that. <coughs> there. <coughs> stream now. Events. Mobile. Any stream, stream now events, mobile, what's all of this? YouTube can automatically archive your live streams for you. However, we recommend also recording a local archive as a backup. How the archive is created depends on whether you use stream now or events. Oh. You'll be able to create highlight clips while you stream is still live. Oh, really? Stream now events. I didn't know about all that. That it had all those extra features. All right, archive settings. Update archive settings. YouTube Live dashboard. Okay, maybe I'll go there. Events. I'm not sure how mine's really set up. I think it's it might be. Well, I don't know. I think it was set up with events because there wasn't a stream now when I first started streaming, and I'm still just like it was, you know. Update archive settings. Okay. Automatically. Okay. Mobile. Oh, this is helpful. This is new information. This one here I'm going to put in my bookmarks and close the page <coughs> so I don't have too many things open for this machine. I <coughs> have to watch that when you're, when you're streaming. Okay, let's go to the dashboard and see. Uh, this might just be the normal live dashboard and I can't find it on here. It is the normal live dashboard. and uh, This might just be the normal live dashboard. Yeah. So, uh, archive is the word they kept using. I went through this. I don't think I went to events, so. <clears throat> That's the, everything on there is just for the controlling. I mean, I'm streaming right now, so that. <clears throat> you don't want to mess with that because I'm already streaming right now. You might be able to do some stream info, but I don't want to change that. I'll leave it just exactly like it is, and then I just go back and change the information when I'm done and, you know, put in what I highlights of what the video's about. Live now. That's where I was just a minute ago. Camera is new, and, uh, oh, yeah, it tries to go ahead and do it, and it says you don't can't find your camera because I don't have one plugged in. <coughs> because I'm using my, my phone's... Uh, are streaming wirelessly over the Wi-Fi to uh, Team Viewer, and it picks it up as a, a VLC stream. They're streaming a VLC stream, a video LAN. I, I use that. I learned how to stream with video LAN with video VLC. Uh, it's not just a player; it's a streamer as well. I used learned how to do that long before any of this stuff was on YouTube. <clears throat> I remember the first one I big longest 
you know, big project I did was in 2009. I was replacing wheel bearings on my 76 Chevy Blazer. And I did a whole week of, I would, I didn't stream live to the internet because there wasn't no place that was free to stream it to, you know. Plus, I didn't have internet connection out in the driveway back then. I didn't have any Wi Fi or anything, I don't think. I didn't have a Wi Fi router in the garage back then. I don't think I even had a Wi Fi router. Uh, and uh, but what I did is I streamed it to two desktops. I had two webcams and two desktops, and I also used my little digital camera to do little. It would do like 10 second videos, so I do. It had a lot better. Uh, it was a better camera and a better lens. It was actually a Nikon camera with a Nikon lens. It was. It's only like 1.7 megapixels or something, but it made good pictures. It died. It quit working. Anyway, my little old cheap webcams is what I did it all on, and. Uh, other than those, and I was going to edit it all together, but a week's worth of video, I actually never found my round to it to ever do that. <clears throat> Finally, I just uploaded the videos, but then I screwed up, and I had my settings set to give the videos a default name. Don't do that. Every video I uploaded had that same name, and it took me a long time, a week or two, a month or two or three to figure out what I had done. I didn't remember even doing it, you know, and leave it blank. Give that section blank that says default name for your videos. Let then the file name will make the video name, you know. If it's too long, they'll just cut off the end of it. <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> I need to del del delete all those and re-upload them because they all have a dates, you know, what's going on. The name, I may they're probably too long, but they have what's going on and the date at the end. <clears throat> but I've never got around to that. <clears throat> Ever since I got uh, these cameras... And uh, <clears throat> OBS Studio and all that, I just want to make new videos. I don't want to go back and mess with the old ones. Okay, sidetrack, camera. Okay, see, I just can't. I've clicked on everything in here. I ended up getting all off into all the other stuff, the analytics and everything last night. I can't see anything. Oh, view live now, upcoming. That's what I just now did. <clears throat> and that is that. It's in live me. I don't know if that'll take you to that website or what. It just says waiting for the stream to start. I should probably take that out of there. I need to look and see if I even have that on any of my phones anymore. You know, I've noticed something. <coughs> uh, since I uh, started deleting my cookies automatically every time I close my browser, uh, YouTube, uh, you know, the YouTube is usually really good about, I'll go back there, uh, bringing, showing up things that you might like. Well, there's all kinds of junk I have absolutely no interest in and have never watched anything like it before. Like, I haven't watched wrestling since that's wrestling. I haven't watched that. I saw a different one yesterday since I was 12 years old. I used to watch it back then on TV, you know, Saturday Night Wrestling. Uh, Fritz von Erich was the champion of the world back when I was a kid. <clears throat> I think he's died now. Uh, I don't know what that is. But it's stuff that looks like stuff I would not like at all, you know. Um, and I thought, why is it suddenly doing that? And I realized because they were using cookies to track. Because I have all the YouTube history turned off. I always have for years and years. And they still, I, I knew there was a way they were tracking me, but I hadn't ever tried to figure out how. Tracking what I watch. <clears throat> That's those cookies, evidently. <clears throat> so, it, and it's also pretty aggravating. Every, it it's kind of seems random sometimes. Well, I know when I reboot, I figured some of it out. When I reboot, you got to log back in. Uh, when I reboot my computer. If you've, it seems like if you've had the browser open and you log in, and then even if you close it, it'll keep you logged in <clears throat> most of the time. So the only two sites I have to keep, you know, I put in exceptions, don't delete those cookies, was uh, Google, which is YouTube, and uh, my homepage with all my news and stuff. <clears throat> but sometimes I have to log in, sometimes I don't. Anyway, they're just making you <laughs> want to... <clears throat> Uh, keep those cookies. All right, now let's go to the next one. Update archives to update archive settings. That's exactly where I was just at. Okay, live now, live dashboard. I'll go. Uh, I just want to miss. I just got to be careful what I click on. I don't want to mess up my live stream that that is going right now. Okay, that's the normal live dashboard. I accidentally hit the back button. I have these extra. I've got a three, four, five button mouse, and I love it. I've had it since I'm about 2000, but sometimes my thumb will hit that back. It's a back and forward buttons, uh, extra buttons on the mouse. It's Microsoft Intelli Mouse. 
Best thing I ever got from Microsoft was just a mouse. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, I just can't find... And that little link down there is to your to the your stream you have right now. View on watch page. Of course, that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, yeah, and there's nothing like next to it saying view the back view the second stream. Well, I don't have a second stream going now, so you'd have to look in your vi archives of your videos. Mobile, I'll click on it, but oh, didn't, there's no links in there. Video manager. So no, this was no help whatsoever. They always ask you, how was this? Did it help you? La la la. Newest. Oh, newest, most visited, private, monetize. Public, unlisted, private, draft. Oh, hmm. But I don't see anything that says archive or anything. There are a few unlisted videos that I have. There was. Some of them that are just like whatever they were, tests and stuff like that. Private ones, well, I don't think they would be. There's a few that I made private because I don't remember why on all of them. There's one I must have deleted. Some of them, I think, is because they're well, for different reasons. Maybe well, a lot of times I would just instead of deleting them, I'd make them private whenever they were streams that got messed up, and I would upload a. Well, that one says file duplicate and all that. I don't know. I haven't really. Yeah. But none of those are recent. None of those are the streams or anything. So uh, unless it's private draft. Oh, shouldn't have any drafts in there. Yeah. Like if you upload one but you have it uh, not monetized, that should be all now. I was uh, I was on the uh, you know where I never made a dime, but uh, I was eligible to get pennies for my videos. But uh, they kicked me out with other th millions, of, uh, probably millions of other people when they decided you had to have a whole lot of subscribers and all that stuff and a lot of views. Well, how are you going to get them if they <laughs> anyway? kicked out but that ain't why I was making my videos anyway so limited or no ads ah, I think I turned off huh is that a playlist no uh I thought I turned off ads but I guess well I saw something yesterday I guess I really didn't turn off ads because it showed that I had it turned on that if if I would get enough views I'd be eligible to get ads so you know if they're not gonna if I'm not eligible to make any money then I don't want those ads playing on my videos just aggravating people <coughs> I didn't, um, I'm not sure I know when I don't have a AB adblock plus turned on it drives me nuts so it's kind of turned into a thing that for me it would just about it would probably push me off of watching YouTube videos and I love watching YouTube videos if I had to watch all those ads so it's kind of a double-edged sword making trying to make money off of it and being aggravated to death to where you don't even enjoy it anymore but um, I probably should I hadn't noticed that before I should probably go in there and just turn off everything to do with the ads because unless something really wild happens <clears throat> I don't think I'll get eligible again for it, not in the near future doesn't look like so not only do you have to have a, so many what is it a, th a minute, thousand or four thousand subscribers or something you have to have a whole lot of views I've never had that many views well I guess I've had that many as long as I've had my channel because I've had it from ever since YouTube just to right after they started up but I didn't put I, I wanted to have wonderful beautiful perfect videos so I didn't put hardly any up for years and years because I used to work with audio and video and I knew how it should be done but being able to do that is pretty hard you gotta have some good equipment and time and all kinds of things enable your channel start streaming I can't find it man I just can't find it that's another 
the word backups in there once and of course I'm not just sitting here pouring over it <clears throat> but uh, it shouldn't be that hard to find where is my backup stream you know let's do a different search Try that again. I tried this already before. Now, see, there are videos, and sometimes those videos are actually quicker than searching and reading stuff anymore. If they're, you know, some of them are pretty good. How to get started with Google's Backup Sync. That's Backup Sync. That's not it. <clears throat> How can I tell where my primary encoder drops out and switches? X split. Now that was the one, the first one I was able to X split. Is the first one I was able to get to work in YouTube streaming. But it's like limited functionality for the free version. Then you got to pay. I think if you don't even buy it, you have to pay a monthly subscription. And then I discovered OBS Studio. <coughs> so and it's way better than that X split. So <coughs> if you want to uh, pay pay for something, donate to OBS Studio. <coughs> That's what I would do. Uh, how can I tell where my primary encoder drops out and switches to my backup? With YouTube archiving and uploading my backup stream. I'm trying to find the Wirecast log where, oh, this is Wirecast. This is probably old, two years ago, but it may, let's see. It's controlled by YouTube based on the server side issues. Yeah. So maybe. <clears throat> see, the thing was, is I, I've seen, I thought I had seen many times. Maybe people are just actually having more than one account and calling one the backup stream. Um, and, and it is their backup stream, but <clears throat> you can view them. You, you'll view some that's the same exact content, when, especially when there's a big live event. And I'm talking about big productions like news events and stuff. Uh, you'll usually see uh, if, if you know one that's really really busy and it's actually lagging you can look around and you'll see the same exact stream and it lots of times it'll say the backup you know backup stream or whatever Back. Yeah. Okay. So that's just like they want to know what's what's going on with the switching. <clears throat> How to discover deleted YouTube videos? Yeah, if you want to, uh, I don't know that there's a way to get back to deleted YouTube videos. I think you're just going to have better back them up yourself. Well, of course, if you did a live, one of those camera, you know, straight from the desktop streams and didn't make a, well, like if you use the YouTube app, you know, website or the app on your phone, I don't know if there is a way to back it up. <clears throat> I don't know, I'll look at it. I'm getting tired of looking for this. <coughs> this is XSplit. This is their website. It's a good website. Uh, good uh, good software. Let's see. I have a page for them. I mean, a, not a page, a folder. should be like in video streaming or something. Maybe not. Unless I have it as X split. Yeah, it can take a while to find that. It might be in software. I started reorganizing everything and I put software in front of everything that was software. And then I started realizing everything on the computer is software. <laughs> and so I kind of thought, hey, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. I'm trying to get to the bottom. Oh, I think I saw an X. No, that's SpaceX. 
software X split there it is right there okay I try to keep this jump that's 2013 that's a long time ago okay so that's just gonna be it's way too old <coughs> okay sometimes you can put where is my YouTube backup stream. I'm going to put 2018. Whoops. Accidentally put a thing after it. Uh, some sort of thing I hit with the, accidentally with the keyboard. Okay. Google Draw. That's Google Draw. Choose ingestion settings. Yeah, go live from the desktop. <coughs> ingestion settings. Well, it went. It went somewhere, but I don't see it. it didn't highlight backup. Captions, multicam stream. Let's see. Camera edge, you must increase your encoding network resources. You have three cameras, you must triple your encoder's bandwidth. Do not attempt to encode multiple camera angles on the same encoder. We strongly encourage using backup streams. There we go. Yeah, I remember reading that kind of stuff a long time ago, but I didn't. Uh, I worried about having enough bandwidth, and also I didn't have, I, mean, I have two old webcams, but they worked the machine too hard. Uh, this is actually the ideal way for me to using these phone cameras over the Wi-Fi is way better even though we have trouble like with lagging audio you know uh, audio and video being out of sync and stuff works better it, even a quad core with 4 gig of RAM can't run to old webcams at the same time for very long it will just run out of juice and quit it will just lock it'll end up locking up if you keep on going uh, and <clears throat> I'm talking one of them is one does 640 by whatever and the other one just does 320 by something I'm not even talking out. Forget any, you know, 1080p or I mean, they even have 4K webcams now. But or you can plug in. DS, some DSLRs have an output via USB output, and you can plug them into a computer and stuff too. From what I read. <coughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, H two sixty H dot two sixty four. I was seeing that it said X two sixty four in uh, whatever settings I was in the other day. Oh, when I was setting up OBS and the new OBS captions. Yeah, I'm not looking for that. Okay, uh, instructions for adding cameras. Maybe that will get me somewhere. I mean, there's re good reasons. I've seen, um, for instance, I've said that yesterday. Uh, uh, um, <clears throat> I've seen it be in use and be very useful uh, when you're you know really shooting with cameras uh, a live event uh, if one you have trouble with one you can switch to the other one and make the other backup stream be your main stream or just tell everybody actually I'm from, my brain went blank uh, Roadkill from Hot Rod Magazine this, if you it's my favorite audio uh, favorite Hot Rod you know car show uh, for ever since it started. And uh, they also do an event called, uh, and this is where they got into this. So they did an event, and I started watching that from the first year they did it on YouTube anyway. They streamed live the whole event. Still do it. Uh, now I forgot. Hot, uh, Hot, Hot Rod Drag Week. And they just, it's kind of an unlimited, bring what you, run what you brung, but I mean, you got everything from beaters to, top fuel cars you know well are they top fuel well they're yeah i don't i think well i think they all run on gas but anyway um they have unlimited they have an unlimited class and they're six second cars you know and uh in a quarter mile not an eighth of a mile quarter mile and uh <clears throat> anyway they uh they would use they were streaming live on youtube and they would use i remember the first year they uh having some of the same kind of problems I was having, you know, getting that going. And uh, anyway, but when they, they would, they had multiple streams going at the same time. So they uh, were able to switch over to them at times and stuff like that. 
Um, let's see. I think they were using Wirecast, and they paid for the license, and they still kept getting the watermark, and they kept, and it kept kicking them out every so often or something, even though they paid for it. I don't remember the details now. Anyway, they finally got it worked out. I don't know if they kept on using Wirecast or not, but. And I think I'd already discovered XSplit by then. I was like, use XSplit. <laughs> okay, create your events normally, and then on the ingestion settings, add camera. You can add up to six. Oh, this is cool. Main camera. And you can do this all on one account. Yeah, I was wondering, you don't have to have multiple accounts. You can do this all on your account. You gotta have the bandwidth, though, to upload that much. And angles can be mirrored live control room. Oh, okay. So if I started another stream, I wonder if I set that one up instead of saying this is my metrics for each camera. Every additional camera you add effectively a new event, yeah? Therefore every camera you add must must proportionally increase your encoding network resources. For example, if you have three cameras, you must triple okay, but that'll happen I think that happens automatically now. But anyway, then you know I think I could do two streams. I, well, I did it, and I didn't see any trouble. Uh, well, other than my my remote desktop did act up yesterday. I kept doing two. I forgot. I, I did two or three, two times at least that I did, you know, a backup stream at the same time. I started it over there on Mom's machine, AS ROM. Let's see. Create the event as you normally would. On the ingestion settings, add camera. <clears throat> So I've been doing it straight from OBS Studio and it does work, but maybe what I'm thinking now is maybe I didn't didn't see the right thing to view the other stream in my live streaming page, you know. I'll try it once because I think what I'm wondering is does it say if it, but the ones I already did, where are they? Can I go back and view them just like you can your normal live stream? That's my big my thing I've been trying to figure out here. Oh, that's the wrong viewer. That one wasn't it's my favorite viewer, but it doesn't work as well. So what I'll do is get it started and then I'll close remote desktop for a while. <clears throat> so um everything looks pretty good, right? And, uh, oh, I forgot I'm still playing my preview over there. I'll let it keep playing, though, because... <clears throat> yeah, because that'll help me monitor when I'm... Well, actually, let's just stop it. I want to cut down on bandwidth usage up and down right now. <clears throat> I mean, I have a 60 megabits down, but I only have four up. And the thing is... Really, 60 megabits is you're not getting the performance you really could because you need a whole lot more than four megabits up to, to, for you to be able to do that. And I don't know the numbers, but I, I've read about it on and off over the years enough to know the concepts, you know. So yeah, when your when your uh, ISP tells you how wonderful they are, giving you um, let's make sure it says in the settings that it says. Uh, Anyway, let's don't go into that. Let's go into what I'm doing. <coughs> okay. Make sure it says it's the backup stream. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it still says the backup server. There's only two choices there, primary or backup. I already have a primary, so I don't want to do that. Hit cancel on that. Okay, so I'm just going to hit... Uh, oh, first I guess I ought to get... What do I want to use? <coughs> I'll use the camera because I'm not going to be doing anything. Well, I could be doing something on the desktop, but I'll use the camera. And uh, uh, what I did, what I, what did, I found out, what I, found I made out, a mistake, I and, made I ended mistake up with and I ended up with both uh, uh, wireless. The wireless. Okay, that didn't even okay, work. That didn't even work. Let's try it again. Let's Control try it. three. There we go. Oh, it was already on, and I turned it off. I think. Okay, now it's working. So when I uh, hit Control three to turn on the uh, mic. This can stay on since the mic's not even plugged in. Normally I would have to mute it or I'd have two mics in there. 
the camera mic's always a little behind the uh, wired mic. There's a, there's a lot of latency with going through the Wi-Fi. So, um, yeah, I won't do all the intros. and Well, no, let's do the intros and exits. Okay, so I'm going to say start streaming. And everything's set up, so, yeah, now the recording's working and everything. I can see that it should be working. Oh, and I'm talking... guess I'll talk over it. That should be the music playing. So now, of course, I can go to the desktop screencast, and I'll just do that. <clears throat> I'll open up Crusader, and we'll see that the video, backup video is being made. Yeah, it's growing right there. So I'll close it again, just to not be running lots of stuff. And then I'll go to, um, there's me. And that, uh, that wireless mic will work on, well, any of my mics will work on any scene that I have. But uh, <clears throat> now that would be a view of my screen. Uh, but of course, it's blurry. That's as good as my cameras can do. And but see, I'm recording to the backup stream and to the uh, local at the same time. Now that wasn't working for a while because I imported my scenes, all these scenes that I'm working with right now, and uh, I didn't have the the, you, the folder named right as to what they had, were looking for. Now it all works. <clears throat> Should have played the music. I didn't see it in the window there that whether or not it was playing. And see, in the one that I use all the time, I was able to get a hold to that. Well, you can't see anything but me. But anyway, I was able to make it to where I could see it better. So um, I'm going to get out of that now. And I'm going to close the remote desktop so that that's a whole lot of a relief on the uh, Wi Fi. And the wire, you know, <clears throat> that's only local, of course. It's not going out to YouTube, but. Okay, now, <clears throat> I need to go, I'll do it on here so that, uh, yeah, I'm on desktop. Now, I need to listen to my stream for a second here. Let's see. Well, I can just go to it. Let's see. I'll just see what, how I can get there as quick as I can. Uh, okay, well, I'll tell you what, I can use these and I can get there real quick. Dashboard, that's where I'm wanting to go. <clears throat> Okay, um, so the stream that I'm doing right now, of course, is, I can, that's a little delayed, so I can tell, you know, now I see my live dashboard in the stream, so, but the other one is a picture of me, you know, it's, that's all it is, it's just me, and you can hear me talking, and, uh, of course, you'll hear the same thing, of course, uh, but that way I know for sure which one's which, right, I mean, okay, now, um, in here, <clears throat> I'm going to just really look over it and see if, uh, you know what, I've got two, uh, yesterday it says zero watching, yesterday I saw one and two watching for quite a while, and uh, I thought it was because I had my two live dashboard open twice, but no, I guess it wasn't, I actually had two viewers, there were about four views, <laughs> of course, you know, they might watch for just just a minute and then quit quit find out how boring i am but uh view on watch page okay that wouldn't really well i could do it just to see if it uh let me pause this preview first just realize it was playing and i've got it over view there watch page. oh it's paused over there on my laptop okay oh, I now i can hear myself <clears throat> i keep it down low so that i don't pause this echo back in the mic but uh, I, I hate that thing. I can't see half the page now with that up there. And that helps a little bit. But I'm trying to read stuff and it pops down in there. I tried to get rid of it and be. And I got rid of all the t stuff in there, but the white stayed. I can't see half the page now. Yeah, now I hear myself talking to my in my delayed in my ear. And I'm about to get angry. That drives me nuts. Yeah, if you wanted to, uh, well, I won't even say that. But uh, the military might want to use that. And drive people nuts. They'll they'll talk. But um, what is that? Uh, some about oh, that's your button to make it. If you type something, and you want to tell it to go up to the chat. Okay, see, I don't think there's anything. See, I don't in in all the related. That's what I was trying to look at, and it got me all confused. None of the things that they th they think are related. There's nothing that says uh, 
anything about uh, you know another uh, stream of mine okay uh, and I already went to my channel before I'll do it again just to make sure let's see yeah I can't do it from there it gets more tricky to get there when you're in your okay so if I go to my channel I think that one goes straight to just my my channel okay so I only have one this is the way it was yesterday I only have one live now though and well I mean there's two but that's the same video uh, and that preview is pretty old from what I'm showing right now but uh, I guess it takes a screenshot ever so often but yeah, there's not two different ones or anything. But there, see, there's the window. That's the preview of me, me setting up for myself to be playing in that backup stream. Backup, yeah. Stream, well, that's going to be in every one of them because those are all, all my videos are live streamed anymore. I don't really hardly do anything but live streams anymore. <coughs> all right. Um, set up. Add stream info features maybe you have to okay. yeah that's just all the how you know basically how to do all that uh, which you know I've already learned how to do and I like what I'm using OBS let's see Okay, events. Let's see if there's a new event in there. Okay, live now. Upcoming. Just that same phone thing. Insta Live Me. Completed. There should be a lot. All my previous streams. Yeah. There's the last one from yesterday. Okay, live now. Uh. Of course, if I hit camera, it's just going to look for a camera on my machine. So, live streaming. I think that'll take me back to my dashboard. Okay, basic info, stream options. I just don't get why, you know, I can turn it on. Enable DVR. Viewers will be able to seek back up to four hours. Make archive unlisted when complete. No. Normal latency, low latency, ultra low latency. Cards. Add a card. Okay. And, uh, oh yeah. Well, stream health is still okay. I know less. See, but the first time I tried it, it didn't work. I had an error said your backup stream is bad. So I do know that it receives a backup stream. Uh, and now I don't have an error when I run, you know, when I turn on the backup stream. And, uh, <clears throat> but I don't have any idea how to. Let's see, that's analytics, stream health. Good. It's excellent. Okay. Yeah, I can't. I don't see anything. No way to. Uh, I mean, I can go to the dashboard thing. I think that's just overall your whole YouTube channel, isn't it? Yeah, that's all that stuff. Video manager. That just shows the ones that you've already completed. It doesn't even show the one I'm doing right now. And I went to that yesterday. That's just a new layout for this these pages. <clears throat> Create. Oh, that's where you can add music to your videos and stuff. They took away the editor, which it never worked well. I never used it because of that. I used it a little bit here and there. Okay. Um... channel oh this is all the metric stuff so I'm going to get out of there now so um, add a camera okay um, I'm going to try it this way then let me go I'm going to leave just well let's just close the browser on this machine for a while give it a little rest Okay, now let's go to the uh, other machine on the remote desktop. And uh, I'll open up the browser on there. That shouldn't make any difference whatsoever, but. Is there some way? 
I just thought of something. Well, there's not anything in OBS Studio to take you to. Um, let me reload, reload my preview over there and get it playing again. So I'll know that my stream's okay. <coughs> but um, on this one that you're seeing right now, this preview of the backup stream, it should have just me and the camera like this, and then it should have uh, the audio coming from the wireless mic. Of course, now you can see it in my main stream because because I'm uh, using a remote desktop to look at it. But uh, I should be able to that. I guess when you get out of that app and come back in, it, yeah, there's the audio signal. Uh, you have to page on down there to see it. Okay, so yeah, I don't think there's anything. Let's look something like view your stream, you know, on YouTube or something. Automatic. visit website that'd be their website which would be a, the place to go to learn about OBS Studio log log that would be the programs log go current log well let's see what it has in it they caught they were talking about logs and they were using XSplit but oh that's gonna be in if I click over there, maybe it'll. I think I waited too late. <clears throat> no, I didn't. I made it. Okay. Oh, I opened that already yesterday. That's everything about your settings, everything. I'm going to save that. I saved it yesterday. I'll save this. I'm not going to read it right now, but and I'll put it in my documents. There's the the actual logs. Now let's do that and then change. Uh oh, I messed up. It has its own date. You don't want to do that. ODF format. Uh, documents. Documents. There we go. Now I'll just put OBS in front of there. Now that should be a different date and everything. I believe so. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to read through it now because it's not going to help me. I, I glanced. I, I'm sure. I just, from the nature of this, that's about the program. It's not going to tell me where to go view that. View. I don't know. I'm just pulling straw. Pulling the straws here. Um. Yeah, this is not going to have anything to help you go see this stream. I guess they figure you know enough about YouTube to know how to go look at your stream. Well, I know how to look at my main stream, but I don't know how to see where my backup stream is going. And they don't tell you. So maybe they don't allow you to see it. It only just takes over when your main stream gets screwed up somehow. I suppose I could, I don't want to do that, I could experiment by stopping the other stream, and I guess this one would take over. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll do it. What else can I do to figure this out, you know? Okay, let's see, YouTube. Okay, that's just YouTube without me being logged in. And then I think that's my videos. And I have to log in. And, um, but that's just going to show my, um, of course, my videos. Uh, this is my video manager page and then live streaming. <coughs> Make the text a little bigger. Uh, <coughs> so, you know, I just poured over that. Now I see there's ones watching. Hello, if there's somebody there. Do you know how to view your backup? That's what I'm trying to figure out is how do you, can you view your backup stream? I'm doing a regular stream, the one I can see, and the backup stream, I don't know where it goes and how it, I know how to make it set it up in uh, OBS Studio, but I don't know how. I've never done it before, so I don't know where it is. It's definitely not in your videos when you're done. Events. It's not anywhere to be found, and I can't find anything on it searching all over Google and YouTube. So, um, I don't know if that's a real person or 
because I have. And like I said, I just, yeah, I think in some conditions it does count it as a viewer when you open up another page on another machine. I don't know. Maybe on this one it does, and on my machine it doesn't because it's the one I'm streaming from. Something like that. I don't know. Um, channel events. I would think that events would be this if you could fit, fi be able to see it. I would think maybe this would be the place, but it doesn't have a another more than one live now. You know, so I'm guessing that. Uh, completed of course I've done this a hundred times uh, <clears throat> and see I've already renamed those and, and so there's and you can see that's one good way to know that that's not, you know you see only the ones that are actually completed there uh, not not the one you're doing now the, the one you're doing now you have to go to live now so of course I could click on that but I think I did that a while ago yeah there it is now this is the actual regular YouTube page view of this stream and of course you see it's a desktop video not just me so I know this is not my backup stream let's see I guess I could try just a general YouTube search well let's get out of this again because I know it taxes my network I'll go back and do do my thing on my uh, <coughs> On my, this machine, the one I'm streaming from. <coughs> so I guess I'll even pause the preview again since I'm not doing any switching and stuff right now. Okay. Now what I could do, I'm debating about it, is stop this stream. I guess I could stop the stream, but it won't stop the recording unless I stop the recording. I could stop the stream and uh, it wouldn't be I mean uh, if I'm going to do it I want to be basically be ready to do that anyway I think I'll do it uh, when I get ready about ready I'm going to have to take a break here pretty quick so maybe I'll stop this stream let the other one and the other one will still be going and we'll see if it automatically I'll get on the page the uh, I guess I'll get on the YouTube admin page you know uh, live stream page of dashboard <clears throat> and I'll stop it <clears throat> and see if it picks up with the one with just me um, you know on the that camera that'll that way I will know for sure that is the backup stream and I'll stop. okay that's the only uh, only way I can the simplest way I can test it out I guess and uh, that'll change things because then this and I'll leave this one recording so this one I'll have my desktop video uh, if I leave it recording, but I doubt I want to go to the trouble to upload it. And the other one will actually turn the it will actually make it should seamlessly change. Uh, I don't know if I hit stop stream though. That may and yeah, that may not work. <laughs> yeah, because it would send a signal. Okay, we want to. I want to stop this stream. The only what, how could I do it? Well, I, I'd have to just like close the program or something that still might do that uh, can't think of any way to simulate a stream problem you know without jacking up of course I can't turn if I jack up my turn off <laughs> reboot my router or something like that then I lose everything so that's not gonna work so um, only thing I can imagine is uh, stop my preview over there now I don't I'm like where am I because I see different previews so, uh, like I'm right now I'm looking at a preview but I get okay there yeah, you're seeing that video feedback in the middle there because yeah okay yeah now I see the exact same thing over there okay so um, yeah I'll leave that preview playing okay I'm gonna do that I'm gonna stop my stream I'm ready to take a break anyway and I want to quit fooling around with this and get back to actual work on the, my rebuilding my, you know, reformatting my systems is what I need need to be doing what I want to be doing now. I'm tired of fooling with this. I'll figure it out one day maybe, but let's see. Um, I'm going to stop streaming here. You can see that. <clears throat> you should be able to. Kind of waiting for it to come up on my preview, but uh, 
It's, it's a lot more, but I don't know, it must be behind a good bit. Okay, yeah. So I'll stop streaming, but I won't stop recording just in case it, I want to have that, you know. Okay, stop streaming. Now, is it going, what's it going to do? Right now, I still have, it hasn't stopped on my preview over there. Well, I'm on both previews now. Um, it's just showing the last thing I showed, though. It doesn't switch over or anything. So I think that I just stopped my stream. And uh, I don't think it's that backup's not going to kick in, I don't think. So the end of that stream was most likely all that's going to happen to that stream. Um, I don't think they're going to be seeing... They're not going to be seeing my... Uh, I'm going to go to the view on stream page here on this one. Yeah, it still just froze where it was. I think it'll be saying... Oh, wait. There I am. Oh, how cool. It does work. So on my preview on my live stream page, I don't see anything. Oh, it's finally there. It's finally there. It's just that far behind. It took that long to kick in. Okay. So so you're seeing me. I'm seeing me. And uh, I guess on my preview page over here, I'd be seeing the same thing. Yeah. So I can close the web browser now. <clears throat> and um, Okay, so that is how it works, and it is automatic. Okay. So, uh, well, of course, if I'd have left that preview on, I'm doing a desktop video still. Like, after I, my original stream is still recording just to my computer, and it's a desktop video. So... Um, the way I was showing what was going on until I closed it just now was letting that preview my my dashboard live dashboard. So I'll open that back up <clears throat> and uh, for myself. Oh, I have to keep. Okay, so it, it's got me all well. It was kind of exciting and fun, but it's got me confused too. Uh, but uh, so. If I'm watching the uh, recorded version on my machine, then this preview is of what's being seen on the live stream. So I didn't lose my live stream. It just switched to the backup, which is just the um, just the camera. And I've been using the wireless mic. <clears throat> so um, this is really interesting. And yeah, it, it would be really cool to have this going on. So I can pause that. Actually, I'm going to close it again. I'm just so so beside myself. I'm not really anymore, but I was for a moment there. Okay, so now what I can do is uh, I'm going to open up. Of course, you can't see that, but on the stream, let's we'll see. Okay, so I get on my remote desktop to the machine that I'm actually streaming from now, and I haven't actually lost a thing. I can uh, go over there and get on OBS Studio, and I can say, okay, now I want to do desktop. So now I'm doing desktop, and uh, just, I can see my audio is working over there. And uh, if I move my mic, it makes no difference because I'm not using the mic, the, the SM58, I'm using the wireless. So I, now I'm doing desktop, so like I could uh, reload my... Oh, that's my actual live stream page. So when I hear myself talking, it throws me off, of course. But uh, <clears throat> should be uh, changing to my, what would it change to? Yeah, my YouTube page. Okay. So I can close the browser. If I didn't, whoops, I missed a missed a click. Okay, so um, there's my resources. OBS, 607 megabyte of memory, 16, 18% of the CPUs, all eight of them, but, uh, well, it might not be using all eight. Let's look. 20, 30, 25, 4, 25, 19, 22, 20. Of course, it 
25 constantly changes. So it's all spread out through all the CPUs. So OBS does use up eight cores, all eight of them. <clears throat> and uh, I just not thought of that. The memory total usage right now is 1.1 gigabyte of 7.8. That's awesome. And then here's my uh, network. Let's see. Yeah, I see sending 1.8 uh, megabits. I, I could have looked at that and seen how much both streams were sending uh, before I stopped them. I didn't think about that. That's pretty cool. And uh, I don't use it. This does make the app itself use more, the system monitor use more. It'll kind of climb when you view that for a little while. But on this big old mach powerful machine, I don't, it's not a problem. So, um, very cool. And of course, I could switch to the other camera, it should work. Well, of course, it's not much good, but I mean, it's better than nothing, like when you want to show something really badly, but you just. You know, it's the only way you can do it. You can't do remote desktop or you're not on the machine or whatever. But, uh, so, that is really awesome. There are times when you, that would be just, could save your bacon, you know. Um, <clears throat> so, um, so um, it's not like if you want to do a multi-camera shoot, the, the extra stream is not really good for that. That's They even tell you there, you know, I knew that from a long time ago. They don't. They tell you, yeah, you can do it multi cameras if you want this way, but um, it's it's not really what it's for. It's a complete separate stream. Multi camera. The best way I've found to do it is OBS Studio. There's lots of other apps that do it. Uh, like I said, I used XSplit before I discovered OBS Studio, and it worked pretty well. But you could only have like three or four stream uh, scenes and uh, limited as to what you could put in there, you know, in, in the sources and all that stuff. They showed you other kind of cool looking stuff. Not, didn't show you as many things as you can do in OBS that I remember, <clears throat> but OBS is completely open source and uh, you can do just more than a machine can handle, you know. More than the mind can handle. I've got so many scenes in here now that um, these are the same scenes I have in my other machine. You know, I imported them yesterday, and I had a, I had a lot of trouble figuring it all out. But um, I did turn my imports worked. I won't click on them because I don't know what it might do. But you, you need to import a profile, and you need to import your scene collections, and then you got to go up there and switch to them after they're imported. And that's what I hadn't caught on to. Uh, and then I went and turned around, and after the import imports went and copied the files over directly so that gave me another one or at least in the uh, scene collection but it's another duplicate I can of these scenes right here they're in there twice actually I think they're in there three times because I overwrote the default it's called it just says unnamed scene well they all say they all say unnamed and you know what I think I can just click on that uh, see untitled Two, that's the one I'm using right now. There's Untitled 3 and then there's Untitled. And I think they're all the same scene now because of me overwriting files. If I hadn't have done that, if I had just stuck with the imports, uh, I think it would have been the default one, which is basically nothing. And then trying to look at the pro Oh, you can't look at the profile while you're recording. But it has two in there, I believe. So um, I'm going to go back. Oh, wait, let's go back to the... I was going to go back to me. But first, let's... Uh, see if that caused any trouble like memory usage climbing or anything like happens in the Fedora 23. This is Fedora 27. This is, you notice how different it looks. It's a newer, way newer version. It's uh, <clears throat> OBS Studio I'm talking about. It's, see, it's 20, it's called 21.1.2 and the one I'm using on my machine over here, I think it's still running. Let's see. It's uh, 0 0.16.6. See how many revisions they've made? And that's doing the screencast. That actually, oh, I'm still recording. So I'll leave it like it is. Uh, I can go to the camera, though. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm talking in two mics at once. Okay. So, yeah, I could have, uh, I was showing just <laughs> nothing, just a feedback in the window there. So, yeah, I'll leave it on me. And because I forgot I was still recording over there. Um... I'll go ahead and stop this one because it's not useful anymore because 
the other one's streaming. So I'm going to stop this one, the original streaming, the original off my Lenovo i5. I'm going to stop this because this is just recording <coughs> to the de uh, to the you know computer, but not on the stream. See, I could start streaming again. I'm, I think, and and it would switch back. Is what would happen. Maybe I should try that. So I'll know. Um, How can I do that? I'm going to put it on the camera. Okay. Now, I'll go back over here. Put this one on me. Now, if it switches from me to the camera, I'll know that that works, and I believe it will. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that, and then I'll get, quit playing with this. Okay, the recording's still going, so I'm going to hit Start Streaming. I know you can do that. I've done it before. I accidentally hit the button. It should... Is my preview playing over there? I don't know if I have it playing of my on my laptop. It's not doing anything, so I think maybe, oh yeah, I think it was paused. Yeah, it was. Because I've reloaded that, <coughs> and it should switch to a view of just the monitors off the camera. Uh, the uh, backup stream is me. You can see me clearly on it. Okay, right now I still see me. See me off the camera. It takes a little while. Um, Probably 30 seconds or more for it to switch over. It, I think I read that in some of that stuff when I was skimming a while ago uh, for it to s switch over. Takes a little while. Yeah, okay. And see, and it's behind too. That's the other thing. It seems like it takes even longer because it's behind. Because I just heard what I said 10 or 15 seconds ago or something like that when I clicked on the preview. So I'll leave my preview over there up. That's me. And, uh,. <clears throat> I guess I could be showing the desktop, but there's really not much else to show on the desktop, is there? Well, let's see. This one, it gets confusing because my machine, I can show everything on the remote desktop. This machine, the uh, AS Rock, is only going to show whatever, you know. If I go desktop, it's only going to go what is on the AS Rock. Okay. So what I'm doing, I should probably do, it hasn't switched yet. I was thinking maybe I should do desktop on my my machine I guess I can do that now did it switch no okay now if I get on the desktop then I can show uh, if it does switch over well that's why I didn't do it well it doesn't matter if it does switch over then uh, well it was one thing if I was doing the camera then whatever I did kind of showed up in the camera now that's why I did it that way okay so let's go back to Camera two again, looks like I was. I don't know, I'm beginning to wonder if it's gonna switch. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm on the remote desktop of the AS Rock. And then that's the desktop of uh, system monitor on the Lenovo i5. I need to get on, uh, that's what I need to do. I need to get on, uh, well, it ended up showing up you know, I saw it first on my live, live page, my uh, not the dashboard, but videos, I believe it was. Or maybe it'll. Uh, every time I close, yeah, every time I close the browser to now, I don't know why. How come sometimes it makes me log in, sometimes it don't. But okay, now what I want actually is my channel. That's not the way to get there. Okay, I think that's it. And when I clicked on, oh, I could have done it from live dashboard. Okay, live now. There we go. Okay, I just, no, that's still just me. Maybe it won't switch off the backup stream automatically. I'm not sure. So, um, because I started the backup stream again. And it hasn't done it yet. It's been a good while now. Let's see. Um, yeah, my preview, I'm leaving it playing on my laptop so I know what's going on. <coughs> <coughs> so, yeah, it's still playing the backup stream. And it's still streaming. Uh, oh, the stream. Live stream checklist. I guess it won't do that. It doesn't switch back and forth like that. It just sticks with the backup stream. Now, well, since I have OBS with all the same scenes and everything, 
I, well, I can't do everything the same because I'm set up so that remote desktop to that machine, um, well, like I'm on this machine on remote desktop now, so like if I go ahead and get it full screen so I can make sure I can see what I'm doing, I can go to remote desktop, and of course I can see everything on this machine, but without logging, I'd have to start KRFB and go back towards the Lenovo i5 in order to see it, which would be a lot of network bandwidth to use up. So I'm not going to try it. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, the stream has not switched automatically. And I don't, so this, after this much time, I don't think it's going to. So I don't know. I may end up with another stream. I think what will probably happen is I will have been made another stream. I didn't see it, but I have a feeling it doesn't, uh, I mean, it usually gives you an error if it didn't work in OBS Studio, and I haven't seen an error. So this is just my backup. So I'm going to go back to uh, screencast. Okay, so now I'm going to stop streaming and then stop recording on here, and then I'll go over and stop my whole stream over there. But that is cool. That's very cool. I just hit the button. Okay, now I'm going to stop recording. Now, I always wait and try to remember, don't close the program or anything. Give it time to, oh, I usually hit, uh, well, that doesn't matter with the end titles and all that stuff. It's already stopped. Okay, but anyway, uh, to make sure everything that's getting uploaded is gets uploaded, don't just close the program. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, now I'm over here on the machine that is still the live stream that I'm actually doing. And uh, yeah, I'm going to switch one more time to the desktop just to kind of demonstrate what's going on here. If I can see something different in my preview, OBS Studio, it's funny that it kind of seems to use more, well, I guess it's the same really. It's the same percentage even though I've got eight cores. I, I kind of would have thought it would be a lot lower percentage <coughs> of CPU usage and all. Memory is, well, you know, this is Fedora 27, so it probably, I don't know, <coughs> you would think <coughs> that it really wouldn't use any more memory uh, on a newer version, but maybe it does. Uh, it has more features. I noticed that, some that I don't know how to use. I don't have it set up and turned on, but it actually has some things that look like you could uh, live monitor. One thing that OBS hasn't been able to do, the one I've been using, is monitor. I don't remember where it is, so I won't start clicking around on it. But monitor your your uh, video as it's playing. I think you can do that somehow. I don't know if you do it on the same machine or. I mean that this. Well, you can see you can monitor the video, but you couldn't hear the sound. And the way I gathered some of those settings, you might be able to hear the sound. That's good and bad. I mean, it's really kind of better to just. You know, it depends on how you're set up. Like I can just do it through my earphones. I've got my mixer going to my vamp and then the vamp it goes back into the mixer and I just listen to it through the control panel out when I need to do that and I can hear exactly what my, this mic sounds like now I can't hear the overall stream that's the one drawback I can't hear the wireless mics you know I can't hear anything else I can't hear the desktop audio unless it happens to be playing on the desktop uh, I can hear that but I don't know you're not monitoring your stream's audio, you're monitoring your desktop's audio. See, so if it, something fails, and so some apps, I have noticed I played stuff, uh, like I don't remember how it was, but I played something on a web page or something and it didn't work in the video, but I played it on VLC, it did, or something back and forth like that. So, you know, if you really want to have a good, well done stream, uh, uh, I mean, in, since you're doing it live, you're going to have mistakes, but you can fix them right away if you know what's going on. Now, of course, I can't stand to sit here and listen to myself talking to headphones. It drives me nuts, and it's even worse whenever it's an, a, re, an, a delayed echo. But see, if you're listening to it straight from your stream, as it's happening, then it won't be a delay, and it won't bother you as much. So then you don't really want to play it in your speakers in your room. It's going to pick up on your mic and give the, a, an echo in, the, in your stream. But you could put on some headphones, uh, or periodically, or the whole time. A lot of people like to do that. And... Uh, if you really want to stay on top, you really need to stay on top of all the audio and video, then you really kind of do need to wear headphones um, while you're streaming. And then you you know when things are working and when they're not. But you need to be able to monitor the audio. And I think that this newer version can do that. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that yet. 
But now I know that everything will work for just the kind of streaming I'm used to what I've been doing all this time. So now I can stream off of this machine while I take that other one apart, the one that I've been streaming from. That's why I went through all this trouble. And then I got excited about all the, oh, I got to thinking about this backup stream and all that stuff. So I was like, oh, that's cool. I want to do that, you know. And what I can do is set up different scenes, collections. I don't know if I might be in the profiles. I can't remember. But, well, you can go into the settings, but anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm not showing that. But anyway, I was clicking on them. But uh, uh, <clears throat> what I can do is I can have one, you know, whole setup that's uh, just for normal and another one that's for backup. And if I, if I switch, uh, switch to it, it'll be a backup stream. And I could do stuff like that. I mean, like start with it instead of the like one, you know, like number one is normal streaming, number two is backup streaming, and all like that. Of course, I won't continue to do that with this machine. It's mom's machine. Uh, once I get done with my work, I'll give it to her. Well, it, this will be reformatted. It'll be gone. But if I did set, I may go ahead and set OBS back up on there if I need to for my work, and then I'll just leave it. But anyway, uh, pretty cool. So I'm going to go because I'm about to die. I need a break. All right. So now I can just exit like I normally do. And as long as it works, I haven't tested this uh, audio out. But if it works, you know, I have audio out. And then and then I always stop and do a little silence at the end with the same text, you know. All right. This is Dawn. That's been kind of fun. All right. Bye-bye.